To do the regression analysis, I have already prepared a Excel work file of a company and it's a time series data work file. Here what I have taken are the profitability ratios of a company, I mean ROA and ROE. There are other profitability ratios for any kind of company but I preferred ROA and ROE ROA and ROE of seven years of a certain company these two are my independent variables sorry dependent variables and I have taken five independent variables which are macroeconomic variables of a country these variables are GDP export inflation personal income and reserve we are going to complete the analysis in eViews so just opening the file with the views I'm using eViews 9 let's see where is my data it's in a uh, sheet 1 there is also data in sheet 2 but my current analysis data is in sheet 1 so here I don't have to change sheet 1 because sheet 1 is given as default here if your data is in sheet 2 then from the predefined range you can change it so now I have to click next and next and lastly finish here I have to click on yes here comes the eViews appearance here is the data data list I want to watch the work work file just like in Excel sheet so what I have to do is I'm selecting all the dependent and independent variables and then clicking on right button of the mouse then from open as a group here comes my data work file okay I'm doing it because there may be some there may there may be some kind of missing just like a, you may not enter the inflation of 2012 or any other entry may get missing so what I have to do for regression is I'm going to quick here is the quick I'm clicking on quick then I have to go estimate equation here at first I have to write the dependent variable for me there are two dependent variables but here I have to do analysis for each of the dependent variable separately I'm taking ROA at first so if I when I'm uh, I just wrote R and if you suggested all the variables dependent and independent variables I can select my dependent variable from here or 
uh, and then I have to write C then oh one thing uh, before writing C there should be a space I have given a space okay I'm taking a space and then C and then again a space now I have to put the independent variables GDP I'm taking GDP at first you can write the independent variables in any order here my preference is GDP at first then a space then comes second independent variable inflation look you can type the independent variable's name or you can write it just by clicking on the suggestion like this then again a space the third independent variable is export i denote it is with uh, expt and then again a space and fourth independent variable is personal income which is denoted here as pi and then again a space and lastly the reserve what uh, I have to do is I have to click on ok here comes the regression model here is the regression model now uh, the turn is to analyze to just this regression model what um, a researcher do in this step is he or she considers the probability value of each of the depend uh, independent variable each of the independent variable and then considers the value of the r squared I mean here R squared and then the probability value lastly the probability value of F statistic so if we see the probability value of independent variables each of the independent variables is less than 0 0.05 we reject null hypothesis I am saying again if the probability value of a independent variable is less than 0 0.05 then null hypothesis is not accepted The logic is if it is uh, less than 0 0.05 it's not accepted if someone gives you less money in a job than other jobs you will not accept it right just like this so what will happen we will accept the alternate alternative hypothesis now the thing is that null hypothesis says no relationship between independent variable and dependent variable and alternative hypothesis is there is a significant relationship between a dependent variable and a independent variable both are some both are vice versa opposite of each other 
when null hypothesis is saying no relationship alternative hypothesis is saying yes there is a significant relationship in this video and in this analysis we see that the probability value of each of the independent variable is less than 0 0.05 so it depicts that we have to reject the null hypothesis I mean we have to say there is a significant relationship between these macroeconomic variables and the company's profitability or ROA value okay this first adjustment is done now comes the second adjustment the R squared value the more the R squared value is the more fitted the model is here the R squared value we can say we see that 0 0.999996 percent 96 means the model is 99.99996 percent fitted which is a great result I mean very positive result on the other hand we can say that these independent variables can define the dependent variable 99.99 percent I'm saying again these independent variables can define the dependent variable or ROA 99.99 percent in a correct way or correctly a low R squared value is not actually desired so the second judgment step is done and the third judgment is researchers observe the probability value of F statistics F statistic this one for this also the null hypothesis is if the value of the probability value of F statistic is less than 0 0.05 null hypothesis gets rejected so alternative hypothesis gets accepted here we see that the probability value is less than 0 0.05 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis and accepting the alternative hypothesis and alternative hypothesis is there is a significant relationship between the depend independent variables and in the dependent variables another thing I want to say that suppose the the p values or probability values of the independent variables are greater than 0 0.05 so in that case you will accept null hypothesis right but if you see that the probability value of f statistics is less than 0 0.05 in this case i mean in this second case the null hypothesis gets rejected why these are the individual significance 
these values i mean these values these column values are individual or separate significance where the this probability value of f statistics is the combined this is why even though if sometimes happens the probability value is less than yeah sorry greater than 0 0.05 but the probability value of f statistics is less than 0 0.05 that time null hypothesis gets rejected and alternative hypothesis gets accepted in other words we can say though the independent variables separately have no significance on the dependent variable but all the independent variables combinedly affect or combinedly have significance over the dependent variable i think the viewers of this video have got some good lesson and um, here's the ending and one request is that if the video helps I will appreciate if you have like comment share and subscribe my channel so guys goodbye and have a good research and also have success in your life thank you